Hey there, Marie Green from Olive Knits here. And for today's Knitting Rescue 911, we are talking about knitting with multiple colors and how to make sure your yarn isn't going to bleed. Bleeding means you're gonna get color transfer from some of those more vibrant or dark colors that might leach onto some of the lighter colors. And unfortunately, this is something probably every knitter has experienced. So if it's happened to you, don't feel bad. It's happened to all of us. Sometimes what we do is we knit a swatch in just one color making sure we got gauge and then we just started knitting with all the colors without thinking hey we didn't check for color fastness to make sure all those colors were going to play well together and sometimes we get pretty far in our project before it dawns on us that we might have a problem so even if you've already finished your sweater but you haven't blocked it yet before you do anything go back using all the colors from your project. Obviously these are different colors, but let's go with it. And you're going to knit a mini swatch using all of the colors represented in your project. It doesn't have to be great for gauge. You don't have to worry about it even having any kind of pattern consistency at all. We're just looking for color transfer here. So knit yourself a little swatch, give yourself at least enough representation from each color, not just one stripe of each color. You want a few in there for every single color you have so that you can really get a solid idea of what's going to happen in your sweater. Once you get your little swatch finished, soak it in lukewarm blocking water, just the way you would a sweater or any other garment that you've knit. You want to treat this color transfer swatch the same way you're going to treat your sweater. So go ahead and soak it in your lukewarm water. Add your fiber wash because if you're going to use fiber wash on the sweater, you want to use the exact same stuff on this swatch so you get a very clear example of what's going to happen and soak it for a good 30 minutes. Don't rush this. It can be tempting to want to hurry it along because you just want to find out, but you want to give it that extra time in the blocking water so that you know for sure that you don't have to worry about your colors. When it's had a chance to soak, bring it out, roll it in a towel, and then press it flat and pin it out and let it dry. Now, often we don't see the color transfer happen in the blocking water, when we see it happen is on the blocking mats while it's drying. So whether you saw some color transfer in the water or not, don't assume all is well until your swatch has dried and you don't see any color transfer or it's minimal enough that you can live with it. Sometimes there's just a faint halo of transfer between color changes and it's so minor that you don't mind. But if it's noticeable, then you're probably not going to want to wet block that sweater, which is a major bummer because wet blocking is what I'm all about and I think it makes such a huge difference. But if you've used colors and you find out in this little blocking swatch test that the colors are gonna transfer and it's not gonna stay nice and crisp, then that would be a time you would want to steam block this sweater or project instead of wet blocking, because as soon as you wet block, you're going to get the same results that you got in your little swatch. So that is how you can find out whether or not your colors in your sweater or other project are going to bleed. If you love learning new knitting tips and tricks, make sure to like and follow me here on YouTube so you will be the first to know when new videos are available. Mm -hmm.